Hey, DJ Destruction, first one here. All right, test one, two, audio looks good. We have pasty white guy recognition software, and we have game footage in a chair that is now perfect. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I am your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Dive back into Grim Dawn today with some new information. They have, uh... You did a big press release in front of all the important people <laughs> on multimedia. Oh, sure you were, Resed. Sure you were. And you guys are awesome. Here right at 9 o'clock. I uh, just visited Zab the Cabot, who's off in here. She's streaming right now, too. She, uh, she had uh, promised me jokingly in the past. She's like, if you ever stop by my stream again, I'll show you my swords. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went over there, and she pulled like a whole bunch of like renaissance swords out of nowhere, and was just showing them off to the stream. And then she like, went to uh... She like, pulled her camera up and went around the room, and it was like a giant freaking scythe above her desk. And I'm like, girl, I'm getting like Final Destination vibes. Like, if there's an earthquake in your house, Everyone in your room is going to get impaled by something. <laughs> you had to watch some guy playing Fortnite here? Oh my gosh, it must have been a, the auto host getting one of the other people in my Twitch communities. I only have like three or four people on my auto host list, and they are all... Um, they are all... What am I looking for? Like RPG people? But... The people in my community are just, like, thousands of people that I don't know, and they have me on their auto-host, and in exchange I have them on my auto-host. So it is what it is. Maybe someday in the future when I'm an internet superstar serial sensation. I won't need those kind of services anymore, but they're great right now. You know, I've never played Fortnite, but I actually... Enjoy watching it sometimes, just like the people that are crazy with building and stuff. I find it entertaining. But again, I haven't played it. Okay. Now what we're doing right now is we're heading up here to this bridge that starves the Chthonian Rift to get the pulsating obsidian shard. Oh, I'm freaking hardcore. Oh my god. Oh my god, goosebumps. Giant Chthonic Rift. But yes, if you didn't see the title already, there is a new Grim Dawn class coming out called the Oath Keeper. And because you can combine the Oath Keeper with the eight already existing classes to make a character, that adds eight new classes to the game. For a total of, I think, 36. Which is pumping. I love their formula. Because the next time they add a new class, it's going to add 9 more classes. And the time after that, 10 more classes. It's going to be bumping. I mentioned it ages ago, now we get full info. Did you? Or do you just think that you did? Oh, it is good, though. It is good. It looks like if you make an Oath Keeper soldier, it's gonna be, like, the tankiest thing in the world. Ooh, heroic spoils. Eh, Soul Shard. Give it to my baby. Oh my. Come on, Wendigo Totem, don't fail me now. <laughs> so angry. I was convinced the name was Oath Sworn and you weren't impressed. <laughs> I don't know that that ever happened. Do 
You know what, Reset? I, I know what'll satiate you. Let me just... Let me just... Let me just pop my back here. Ah, there we go. Ugh, much better. For some reason, people love it when I pop my back. <laughs> you leave my shit out of this. Four wind devils, twelve lightning bolts per second. Blueprint, the eye. Two unique items. What have we got here? Empowered Mutiny. Plagueborn Revolver. Uh, did I look into Warfronts being a thing yet? You know, I haven't been on WoW since we talked yesterday. It was stream, sleep, work, stream. <laughs> so, I have not. But tom tomorrow's the reset, so... There's a very high chance I'll be on there doing all the reset mythics and stuff. Unless the Grimdorn community just be bumping. Oh, did I bring a skeleton key? Oh no! I don't know if I brought a skeleton key. Haha! <laughs> Darn it! Requires a skeleton key. Blah! I can't open that, and I can't make a portal to town. So I can find the exits. You know, it'll probably be quicker just to pop to the main menu, rejoin, and hack my way back over there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Turn this stuff back on. And craft a skeleton key. Mr. Blacksmith, I need your services. There we go. What's left of my wares? Get rid of this and this and this and this. Those I will use at level 50. Hmm. Hmm. No. I would lose a lot of resistances using- Oh, hello. That's a big upgrade. Put on the bling. Uh, don't need the guns. Alright. Okay. Back to the necropolis. Right back into this. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The uh, the Oath Keeper, when combined with other classes, can make an Archon, a Dervish, an Oppressor, a Paladin, a Sentinel, a Shield Breaker, a Templar, or a Warlord. Some of those, like, I th I'm sure the Dervish is if you combine it with the uh, Nightblade. Hey, Camera God, how's it going? Uh, I'm sure the Dervish is if you combine it with the Nightblade. Paladin is probably Soldier plus Oathkeeper? Some of the rest of these, I have no flipping clue. Like, what would an Oathkeeper Necromancer be? No clue. Archon is probably with the Arcanist. Yeah, of the remaining classes, let's see. Sentinel, maybe Shaman? Uh, wait, let me see, are these in order? No, they're not in order. Oppressor might be Demolitionist. That sounds pretty oppressing. Oh 
Oh man. Yeah, she's got a lot of moves from, like, a tank paladin in World of Warcraft. Like the bouncing holy shield. Leaving flames on the ground, stuff like that. Not identical, but there's a lot- oh, wow. Taking too much damage to heal through with just Wendigo. Blueprint Uldajax. Who's a what's a Uldajax? Epic two hand ranged. Ouch. That hurt. Yeah, Oathkeeper looks pretty cool. I like not dying, so I might try out an Oathkeeper soldier or something. Unless it has a lot of auras, then maybe I could combine it with a pet class. Hey, hey. Goodness, you have a lot of hit points. There we go. <laughs> Give me that disgusted look. Cracked lodestone. Da, 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 da. What is this treasure chest? All right, skeleton key. No going back now. Consecrated rounds. Alright. I'm actually pretty nervous about this. Rolling blood. Wow, that's the most uh, obvious your advice has ever been, Reset. <laughs> Usually it's punch that guy, something cool happens. Usually you try to hide it a little. Oh my gosh. Torment. Nothing over there. One does not watch hardcore ARPGs to see people succeed. The juicy, juicy rips. I will try to deny you that as much as I can. Should I should I try to amp up the rage too, Rased? Break through my desk and hope for a dono or something? That will more than pay for the desk. Oh wow, that damage of that thing really wrecks the uh, Briar Thorn. God, the traps. It's a tarp. I 
I do not need anyone to buy me a desk. This isn't even a desk. This is like a, a fold-up table, and it's doing just fine. I have no complaints about my fold-up table. Obsidian Shaleborn. I... Yeah, I need to find some time. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Like, if I if I just... If the next time I'm on WoW is during stream tomorrow, then I'm gonna need to try to rush through and do today and tomorrow's world quest during that time. Ah! Shard. Gladly take that. And da, 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 da. where are we? We're in Discord level still. No! I don't like these invulnerable rocks that pop up and just mess with you like that. Oh man. Oh, nervous. Nah. Oh, that's a uh, cave down. Next turn. Leveled up at some point. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. yeah, I have legitimately thought about making this character's second class soldier just to get all the defensive talents, just to <laughs> increase my survivability. It's been a thought. A thought, I think. Why does Grinnell die in hardcore? Do you get right you just get punched into softcore? I think the character is deleted? I don't think it does the Path of Exile thing where you can still play it in softcore, but again, it's my first one. Should we do it new? Potion! Oh my god. Turtle shell procced. Oh my god. Stop hitting me, shotgun rock. Oh man, that rock just killed the Barathorn. I need to die for science? We can make a new character to test that, or Google it. You don't need to repeat science, someone else is already scienced. Oh man. Ambush. Potion. How many of these waves are there? Jesus. So much lightning. Oh, and there's a couple of bosses in there too. I just want to live here. 
Oh no! Ah, oh, freaking trap rocks in every direction! Hate those rocks. Oh man, I thought that one was done. It was still finishing its load. Turtle shell just procced. Pet got killed. <sighs> Harak Bagath, the guardian of the bastion. got murdered. Looks like the uh, Guardian of the Bastion died right after, though. Oh, silly rock. Quit trolling me. Is there anything else up here? Obsidian Shrove. Empowered Mutiny. Didn't we just get a mutiny a minute ago? I swear we just saw that item. Oh yeah, Darkflame chest card, we've seen that before. The Spirit Weaver Circlet. Apothecary's Touch. You've got the touch. You've got the power. Yeah! D -d 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 targetable heal. Interesting. Roiling blood. <laughs> Thanks, Ravage. I'll get you back when I can. Dude, that, is that blocking the path? No, it's not. Three rocks. Four trap rocks. Stop it. You like my web game board? Thank you. I, uh... Actually, I don't even remember what website I got it on. When I was first starting out, I did a search for, like, free overlays and stuff like that, and I found this border on a... A site that was uh, non-copyright and all that stuff. And it was just free to download. Been using it ever since. Very much a uh, minimalist when it comes to s clutter on the screen. Maybe if I become that uh, big internet superstar sensation, I'll change it. But right now it's good. Pretty tough. Wraith Stalker Band. Doomed Remains. Come on, Prime me. Take him down. There we go. Yeah, to my knowledge, Grimdawn still hasn't released the release date for their new content. 
there's a lot of info out on it. So, I would be surprised if it's further out than, like, six months or something. These guys are 52, so they're five levels higher than me. It's tempting to leave the door closed and just keep throwing wind devils in there and kill them while the door is closed, but. Without the pet doing damage, it will add to the time. Reminds me of Diablo 1, when you could, like, lure the butcher to a room with a door that had bars on it, and just close the door, because he couldn't turn doorknobs. <laughs> and then just shoot, like, a hundred arrows at him to uh, kill him through the door slits. Those are scared. Those uh, guys that do the overhead smash thing does a lot of damage. The vanguards. Those are the ones. Those are the ones that scare me. Redguard, like an improved Vanguard. Vamanatu. Ow. Galar Bergok. Ow. There's so much ether damage on this ramp. There's tentacles and puddles and conal waves. Jesus. All right, we got the quest item. <sighs> Let's see if we can get to the end of this. There was a Steam achievement for beating the Steps of Torment guy on Hardcore. There's probably one for the end of this place on Hardcore, if I had to guess. Turtle shells reach rank 14. Nice. There's a name guy in here. Open the door. Come on. There we go. Got the star on his head in there. Come on, Briarthorn Pelagro. Ay. Colonel Spear was on cooldown for most of that guy's life, so. Alright. Whew! What do we get? Uh, blueprint, Frost Guard Girdle. Two points. Oh, that's right. I didn't even do my earlier level ups. We've gotten two level ups in here. Um, hmm. If I just put all five in here, what happens? I get 500 health. That's pretty sweet. Let's see, this would be armor. This would be bigger slow on the Wind Devil and lower their resistances, so all the lightning would do more damage. That's just more physical damage. And of course I always have the option of actually picking a second class. 
It was around uh, 51 that I did it on my last Shaman character. So I'm getting there. Mosh the Engorged. Mmm, Engorged. Four parasites. To the end, Shieldborn. Alright. Blessed Whetstone. Obsidian Cluster. if I need to go up or down into the right. So, it's kind of following the path right now. Backtrack if I have to, if I miss the correct turn. level now. Oh, they can hit me through the door? Bullies! Hey, Revalone, how's it going, my friend? Yo. The sky is... Where is my friggin' Briarthorn? He like ran off was fighting something else, leaving this guy for me. This guy had really high lightning resistance, so I needed the pets because my lightning was not working out. That's what the Briarthorn was doing, he's humping that wall down there, like a dumb. Like a big fat dumb. <sighs> okay. We're down to Entropy, which doesn't mean a lot to me because I can't remember how many levels there are in this place. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Secret? Secret? Yeah! Wait, is there anything up here? Oh man. Disappointing. <laughs> Found a secret area off the map. There was like nothing there. How's it going, Brovalone? You've been playing uh, more BFA? I haven't touched it since yesterday, so I'm a day behind on my world quests and stuff. Maybe I'll do the bare minimum level after stream before bed or something. Trying to get three or five so you can queue heroics. Nice. The world quest for today, I haven't done it yet, but for me it's uh a random piece of 340 gear. Is it like that for you, or is it only like that for people that already have a certain eye level of gear? Like, do you get a random piece of 340 for today's do for whatever quests? 310 for you, who must go by level. Okay, so it must scale with like maybe the highest piece you found so far or something. Like, I would see maybe one in ten world quests on the big map would reward a piece of 325, and then the daily thing is like a piece of 340. 
It was so troll too, because like on the first day after I got a piece of 340, which was a helmet, the do for world quest thing for a random 340 gave me a helmet. <laughs> so I had two helmets. That was it. I had no other armor, just two helmets. I was like, Sh can I put these on my gloves, my hands, and ball up my fists and use them as punching gloves? <laughs> Oh man, this is rough. That trap crystal is right next to me. Ow. What is this? Wares of the Damned. Um. Yeah, it's a recipe. No, I'm not gonna need that. Recipes in this game actually cost a considerable amount of money, so I don't want to just go buying ones I'm not gonna use. So, within the next couple levels, I have to pick a second class. I'm running out of growth with the Shaman. Feasible options are... Uh, soldier... Dude, if you mean in WoW, I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to log in to look. But feasible options for second class would be Soldier or... Um, Necro, if we want to try having a horde of pets that apply bleeds. Or a cultist, if we want to be a more lightning summoner themed build. Well, once you armory me, tell me what my level is, because I'm not sure. After I started, like, being allowed to join pretty much any group I wanted, I stopped looking at it. 331, go me. Yeah, and that's, I did all seven, no, seven, I did all of the available mythic dungeons for the reset, so it, it can't be any higher other than doing today's world quest, that's the highest it could be, short of getting a random world drop. Oh, dude, in a five-man mythic the other, uh, the other day, I got a piece of male epic boots that were 350 BOE. And they sold for like 125k immediately. Hey, though the boots and the gloves and that transmog are only one expansion old. So you're only referring to my glorious hat. I love that hoodie thing. With the flaming wreath behind you? It's hot. Oh shoot. Alright, we're at Sharzul now. Potion, oh my god. Briarthorn is dead. Alright, alright, he's getting low though. He did just kick my Briarthor's, Briarthorn's teeth out through the back of his head. But, we're draining him. He's filling the room with flame tornadoes though. We need to kill him before that gets to be too much. Yes! Yes! Achievement unlocked. The immortal... What is that? Immortal Conqueror of Chaos. Slay Sharzul, Harbinger of Chaos, in the Bastion of Chaos, in Hardcore mode. I've been playing this since beta, and this is the first time I've done this. Ow. Open the chest. 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 Open the rocks. <laughs> rocks are less impressive. Woo! Feels good. 
Oh, and the pets that survived the fight burned to death from fire dots after the fight was over. Serious business. Boo, or said you bully. All right, let's go turn in this quest. Fort Icon. Yeah, okay, uh, Armageddon I'll give you. It looks amazing. Dude, my spell animations literally increase with the size of my weapon. Like, there's all these, like, red lines behind the weapon swings, and it is, they are visibly much more impressive with Armageddon than something else. And I won't let you tell me Armageddon looks bad. Thank you. I was gonna tell you that that was the truth of it, if you had said otherwise. So you clearly just hate my hoodie. Because the, Arm the Armageddon you say is cool. The I've got the gloves that have, like, mini shields on them, which I think is neat. And the the big boots that are like just Legion old. All right, uh, let us sell the stuff we got while we were down in Hades. Uh, da -da -da -da. Still saving that for level 50. Oh, we hit 49 at some point. Uh, so... Wait, should we keep that? That's a lot of resistances. And that's a lot of armor. We might need to keep that. We might need to take a hit to our movement speed, because those boots are so good. Uh, no. No, no. Nope. No. Keep, keep. Already learned that recipe. We don't know that one, so we'll learn that. Give you good price. Uh, that's not bad. The, the types of stats on that mace were good, but the numerical values were bad. And looks like this is the last page. 235, pet stats, no resistances. Sorry, I can't afford to do no resistances. All right, okay. Let's go to, we need a town with a bank. So let's go to Devil's Crossing real quick. What? What, muckfreecams.com? Are you trying to trick me with something here? Dude, is that even a valid link? That's not loading. Okay, hold on. That actually reminds me of a short story, though. I did click it. And here's... Let me tell you why. So, I'd been using the name Muck, Mucklock for, like, near a decade. And this guy messages me, and he's like, Hey, did you know that Mucklock.com is a real site? And I had only recently learned that Mucklocks were, in fact, shoes at that time. And I was like, no, I didn't. And I click the link, and it, it's just a site that specializes and sells mucklucks, these shoes. And I'm looking at this site, and what we found really funny is my my year of birth is 85. And the site has this big seal at the top that says, Made with Canadian quality since 1985. Mucklucks.com. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. It was quite the coincidence. All right, uh, kill Master Ravik, find... Where's enemy of my enemy? Where's that quest? Ah! Uh, Fort Heron, Northern Blood Grove. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Blood Grove. Boop. Yeah, dude, Armageddon looked better than every one of my artifact uh, weapon skins that I had. All those, like, stubby little axes. Like, honestly, every one of my artifact skins, which were two-hand axes, looked like one-hand axes. They're like little hatchets. Close that can be the challenge with a two-hand sword from Warlords of Draenor. Uh, 
I mean, that's a very large weapon, if you're just a size matters kind of person. <laughs> but, I, I mean, it was okay. Now, that one has some prestige tied to it, though, because you can't get it anymore. So showing that off is kind of cool, just to be like, hey, I was, I was cool back in the day. <laughs> in my glory days. Can I cut through? Yeah, I kicked the door down. We can cut through here. Alright, flesh, flesh warped bulwark of fortitude. Aether crystal formation. Aether crystal. What was the, um... There was some really long two-handed sword that was really popular in... Was it vanilla or burning cr No, it was vanilla. Oh my gosh. Nefarian's Lair? Was that a raid? Neff's Lair? There was some huge two-handed sword from in there. And when they remade it in Nef Nefarian and Cataclysm, like a really short, stubby version of that two-hand sword dropped. I can't think of the name of it, though. That'll die from the dot. I think that's it. I think that it might have been Ashkandi. Venarius, the backbreaker. I want to break your back! No. Okay. Did I go in the right place? Shield steel. Dynamite! Let's see... This is... I thought this is where you wanted me to go. Um... Taking over Fort Heron in the Northern Blood Grove. Assault the fortress. Oh, no. I didn't go to a fortress. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, it's up there. Whoopsie! We will head up there now. My manticore is stronger than your manticores. Alright. We're heading up here looking for Fort Heron for this last quest before we go into the hardcore Melmoth content. Here's the fort. Here's what we're looking for. Dude, my YouTube channel, from, like, tanking Mythics in the first week of, uh, Battle for Azeroth and just having it recorded, <laughs> it's gotten so many hits this week. Like, you, typically, my YouTube channel is, like, pretty quiet, um, and then, like, I'll post a new video and put it on Reddit, and it'll, like, blow up for one Saturday and then really quiet until I make another video. That the stream recordings 
generate teeny tiny amounts of traffic and then this week has just been like the complete opposite because of people googling like how do i do mythic king's rest and then my video comes up it's been pretty tight not that i get anything out of it other than a feeling of satisfaction but there's a feeling of satisfaction Mark of Illusions. Yeah, I, uh, Brovel and I remember in Vanilla WoW, like with a uh, Tauren had Ash Gandhi on his back, like it would go into the ground. You couldn't see the whole graphic because it was too too large. Oh my gosh, I didn't think anything in here was a threat. I was wrong. Is that the quest guy? Yes, it was. Oi. Frigid Barrel of the Relentless North. Getting a lot of dynamite in here. That's an unexpected perk. Oh, there we go. All right, uh, head back to Sar's Bastion to turn this quest in. He says, talk to the Lord Commander. You got it. Recover the ashes. Oh yeah, I remember this. See anything you like. I do see something I like. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think we can make that other relic that was an upgrade too. I should swing by the blacksmith and see what's up. Was it? Summon Crab Spirit. Hysteria. Alright, so what am I using now? Uh, some elemental damage, some spirit. Chance of big elemental resistance when hit, I guess? And can sometimes can stun or can. Oh, that thing almost never goes off. So if I take this off, I. Shoot, I can't even use my offhand if I take this off. It requires 359, and I go down to 336. So 336. If I pick a new class, and I sink three points into this, I'd go up by like 15. Shoot, I need more points in spirit. Alright, there. Now I can take it off. Come on and take it off. Take it off. Uh, da, 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 80 health, 16 defense. That's good. All right. So now, summon crab spirit. And the crab spirit is actually pretty cool because all its damage is frost. It freezes things constantly. It even has a Frost Nova to do a big AoE freeze on the screen. Good night, my muck is got to see you when you get there, camera drive safe. Give you good price. A good price. So now, what to do with my points now? So if if I went a cultist, I could have even more lightning damage with the uh, the bird. 
I could do soldier and just get ridiculous amounts of defense and emergency buttons. Uh, I could do necro and just have skeleton pets that are applying bleeds. Uh, via the the shaman, like these are auras. These are all buffs that affect all your pets. I love shaman. I'm always on the fence about the second class. Don't know what to do with it. Uh, da, 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 da. I really like the lightning, so I'm leaning toward. Because if you use the if you if you rely on bleeds, you need to be using devouring swarm. If you're gonna rely on the lightning, I feel like you need to do a cultist to get the summon familiar. Mm, I think I might do that. Uh, now I'll see a blood of Drig, sort of. All right, let's do. Ooh, commitment. I'm a conjurer now. No going back. All right, we're going for a lightning summoner. This person dies, I'll try something. Probably still be Shaman as the primary, but I'll try something different on the next one. All right, uh, the Necromancer guarding the ashes. That is in Fort Icon. Pretty calm. 49 levels before picking our second class. <laughs> Yeah, it's down this way. So we're going to get uh, Lord Bartholomew's ashes. Impervious Ascended Diadem of the Void. Just what I've always wanted. The levels of stuff, 49. Oh, it's actually the same level as me. Thought I'd be way ahead of it, but nope, that's scaling. Or just pop that whole pile. Puncturing Death Watcher pendant of clout. I wonder if the Oath Keeper combined with the Shaman is the Sentinel? Maybe the Warlord? That sounds kind of, uh, rowdy. Skeletal Priest here. Oh, Latinin. Uh, also, because I haven't said it today, just to throw out a quick plug, there is a program on the stream if you were to scroll down a little on the page it's right under it uh it's a big scroll that says quests on it um those are games you can download and play for free uh some are on like phone tablet some are on pc and doing so earns you basically free twitch subscriptions you can use on streamer of your choice and also you know through that unlocks emotes and also you're playing games and you're supporting the stream that you're watching. So 
Definitely some good stuff on there. It's worth checking out. I highly recommend it. I've actually gotten some from there. I'm a fan of both Neverwinter and Dominations. But uh, if you're not already subbed and you would like to be for no cost to you or just play some free games and support the stream, check it out. Free? No, it is not free viruses. Dude, I got Dominations from there on my phone. It's, it's totally safe. Trying to drive away the uh, the stream support reset with your fear mongering. This is a witch hunt. I don't get to use any of these words very often until you come into my life. <laughs> All the lightning. Uh huh. Great influence on active sabotage. level getting near the arch or was that Archon Bartholomew's ashes I always want to call him Bartholomew it's like they just stopped two letters early like they were gonna name him Bartholomew and then like wait that name is taken by such and such other franchise like crap uh cut off the last letter what do it Ritual Wand. I never noticed these walls were... I mean, I guess those are just bones jammed in there. <laughs> and this is your husband's grave. He's jammed into slot 34B. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, it's very spacious. He got a room with a view. Weathered chest. Loose ends. Let's read a story! About a lovely lady. Blessed steel. There was some kind of secret in here that involved one of the ah, one of the torches on the walls. There we go. What's going on up in here? Oh, I think that's just the exit. Why would you try to hide the exit? Malkadaw, the champ. Couldn't finish reading it, he died too fast. <laughs> Champion of Death's Vigil. Did I pick up the quest on Yeah, I did, okay. I didn't even realize I had picked it up in that mess. So, mildly salty, apparently Blizzard managed to copyright the Skeleton King. They did? Wow, I had no idea. Why is there two in. 
What? Is this other portal over here any different? Oh, yo! Have I ever been here? What? Do we actually have new lore to read? Yo! The earthquake has inflicted some damage on the upper levels of the catacombs. Bones scattered, tombs crumbled, piles of rubble everywhere, and one of the bridges was completely destroyed. This is terrible news as it forces us to take long forgotten alternate paths to reach the furthest end of the catacombs. My true dread is in exploring the deepest foundations. I am no stranger to death. I have combed over battlefields and waited through gore and blood to recover the brave heroes lost in combat. However, this secret place where the bones of cursed and nameless damned are banished makes my skin crawl and my soul scream. With every step I wish to turn and flee from this unholy place. I've long proposed that rema keeping the remains of so many wicked men in one location is unwise Wise, but thus far my voice concerns have been dismissed. Criminals, witches, heretics, cursed murderers, and the insane have been secreted away down here. I can feel their malignant souls heavy upon the air, drowning us in their combined guilt, pushing the crumbling walls until they buckle, calling to the dark hollows of the earth, imploring vile things to seek this prison and release the centuries of evil trapped within. I have discovered a great tear that has opened up beneath the catacombs. Several support walls have collapsed and fallen into the darkness below. There are scratches on the floor and walls as if something scored the very stone. I have also found bones with strange markings on them as if gnawed by an animal. Lately I've been hearing sounds coming from the walls as if something was skulking in the darkness nearby. Some wretched thing gliding along the shadows staying just outside the light. My worst fears have come to pass. I must flee and warn the others. Okay. Is there some extra boss down here that, uh, in this secret area that I've never come across before? Uh, Windrunner, Wind Ranger, Skelting, just maybe say. Oh. Eh. I guess. I mean, the whole. I understand the whole fight with the first Dota game. I mean. People basically made the game in WoW's engine, right? And then they're like, well, this is our this is our game. And Blizzard's like, no, you made it with our stuff. Anything made with our stuff is our game. It's like, eh, okay, they both have a measure of truth to it. So they had to, like, change the names and reskin, like, every unit, but because people were used to certain things, Dota 2, a lot of Dota 2 heroes look like Warcraft 3 heroes. Lol, no to which part? A howda! Uh, Blizzard had a chance to buy Dota, they didn't care, Valve got it, Blizzard got salty. That part I had no knowledge of, I freely admit. Uh, I knew about at the beginning when they were butting heads on who owned the, uh, the Dota 1 content. Ghostly ambush. Wait. There was a devotion shrine down there. I thank you, map. I completely missed that. Hmm. Burning Purifier. Devotion! Uh, hmm. I have no skills to put this on. Oh, man. 15. I need a little bit more blue. Daba di daba die. Uh, let's see. Health, health, 
health. That's good. Defense, defense, defense. I mean, let's see. That's also good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we'll go with the eel. All right, two more points in eel, and then we can start on Ishtak. I haven't heard that one. Just read what it's just a map. Icefar took his toys, got to the valve, and here we are. Yep. I think is looking at Dota 2 models, you see a lot of frames. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying earlier. Like, they tried to keep them probably similar enough that people could be like, oh yeah, that was so-and-so hero that I loved to play before, you know? A lot of them look spot on like recolored Warcraft 3 models. And that's fine. But it's true. Just gotta recognize that. Alright, so there was a Devotion Shrine and a big boss down here that I've never come across before. That's good to know for my future playthroughs. All right, Sars Bastion, turn this quest in. Oh yeah, for sure. Like every hero that they came out with after that happened was much more unique, I'm sure. I, I don't play Dota 2, but they didn't have to adhere to the frames already in the game or anything like that. Ugh, my eyes are itchy. Uh, da, 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 da. Where am I supposed to go? Bane Gargath? Where's Bane Gargath? See, I'm such a to Bane Gargath from the city, the voice one says. Oh my gosh, for real? Oh no, okay. The Plains of Strife, north of Fort Iken. Okay, okay. I thought it was going to send me back through that Necropolis one where I just used a skeleton key, but this one's different. Alright, uh, Plains of Strife. So just go to Gates and Necropolis and go south. For example, stuff like Elemental Spirit Heroes look very different. <laughs> Forget pandas. Pandarans were a joke that Blizzard took way too far. Polished emerald. Oh, sorry. Polish emerald. We like our emeralds Polish here. Is terror blade upside down wings. Yeah, I mean it's been a long time, but I played. Uh, I enjoyed Dota and games like it in Warcraft Three, but I never tried Dota Two because I was really into League. And when people would invite me to play Dota, I would be like, "That's really just like 150 new heroes that I have to learn what counters what and stuff like that." And I just wasn't up for it. Ornate chest. Eh, one crafting map. Legion commander. Tell me your Legion commander secrets. Ah, here's the rift. Dive in. No more landmines. Lord Garethos is its model. Fan oh, dude, I can't. Garethos was so awful. When he would talk, his chin would be like, mwah, 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 mwah. like he looked like a, a cow chewing cud. I. <laughs> he was awful. He's the reason that also he's the reason that the Blood Elves joined the Horde because because he was a d bag to him. He didn't even have a sword. He was like a guy on a horse with a baseball bat. Like, that's what he looked like.
There are the two of the heroes on foot. Female has a huge polar and has banners on her back. Uh, banner sounds more Legion Commander to me than guy with a baseball bat on a horse. Chewing cud. The other thing I noticed about the Oath Keeper is some of the Oath Keeper's abilities have, like, very similar names to the Soldier one. Uh, was it Men here? A lot of the Soldier and the Oath Keeper's abilities have the word Men here in the name. Like, Men here's Bulwark, uh, was it Fire? Oh, a Aegis of Men here, that was another one. <laughs> I'm wearing the Bone Zone shirt, boys. We're in the Bone Zone. What is this? Is it in here some god in Grimdawn or something? Maybe? I, like, I know Mog Drogon is, because you actually meet him. It would make sense if it's like some god of defense or paladin god with all the skills related to shields that use men here. Like, that would totally fill in the mystery. Oh, you know what else I saw today is uh, Heroes of the Storm announced Mephisto as the next hero. And... I watched his, you know, like, his his teaser video, and it looked kind of neat, but, like, I agreed with the consensus in the chat that the, yeah, his, his um, voice was kind of a disappointment. Like, I remember getting chills when I first heard the voice they used for Mephisto in Diablo 2. Like, there was that guy hiding behind the pillar, and he's like, and then I heard his voice like a thousand needles in my own heart. And then you hear him, brothers, and it's like nails on a chalkboard. And it was very electronic, like, you know, people can't talk like that. But they didn't use anything like that at all for the Hot's voice. It was like completely just, just like growly dude. So that was kind of a disappointment, but... Your consistency the hot sucks as they added Overwatch heroes. Eh. It is what it is. I, hey, I like playing Rexar in Hots. Was it you that likes Rexar? Someone here loves Rexar. Rexar is like controlling two characters in Hots, and I enjoy that. Level 50. Alright. Uh, hold on, undo. Wow. That's like 120 hit points for that. So I'm getting like a big boost to the like 30% more health here and a few other places. So just putting those points here, my hit points go up way more than they should. Emberstone Shreds. Even though I didn't play him much. Soul Shard. Alright, there's the exit. I don't need it. Still gotta find old Bane Gargoth. Where you at, boyo? Essence. He has the best animation for his feigned death skill hot. 
Oh, well, where he falls over and pulls out the little flower. <laughs> so stupid. Dude, have you seen the car bot animation where, uh, who is it? The, the zealot. The Artanis. Artanis calls down the purifier beam and it hits him and he just goes bleh and falls over and pulls out the little flower. And then he gets up and he's totally fine. <laughs> Urzael ha hasn't been out in the games for nearly as long. I mean, Mephisto was out in D2. Urzael came out in the D3 expansion. So Mephisto just had people that knew about him longer, I guess. I mean, not that that means anything. I mean, like you said, Overwatch characters are there. <laughs> I feel like... Urzale could almost be a reskin for Tychus. Like, their frames look similar enough. You're right, you're right. Hey, like I said, Overwatch hasn't been out long and it got heroes, so... That argument was void as soon as it came out of my mouth. Um, shoot. Where is this dude? I hope this is, like, a way down, not the way out. All right, good. It is. I liked Tychus when his grenade would set buildings on fire for like 400% damage or something. Like, I was the worst AD carry, but I love just burning down buildings with this grenade. <laughs> I was like siege grenade Tychus. I, I didn't even use the auto attack much. Oh, whoa, my health. Woo, I forgot I was playing hardcore, man. I was getting too comfortable. Ha <laughs> Uh, we lost. We lost Kyle. Summon Kyle! We're gonna start laying out so I guess it was super OP. Consecrated wraps. Savage Effigy. Don't remember how many levels deep this particular rift is. How much danger awaits me before I find Bane Gagoth. for that. There's an exalted stash up there. What do we got? Green, blue, green, green, and a crafting mat. Take it. You are not prepared to be through the entire map. Dude, the old Illidan Avatar comp? F that. As someone who enjoyed playing Zagara, Illidan was a big old bully. Do I... Do I go to the middle or go through this portal?
No, that goes back out. A bach. I mean, you won when you said bots. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Alright, that took a left turn. Oh, here he is, Bang Gargoth. He was in the middle the whole time. Turn to Father Kaiman. Nice. First real match, he's like, all this has so much carry he could do. I enjoyed playing Illidan. I did not have a high win rate as Illidan. Like, I enjoyed playing him, but... Uh, similarly, in League of Legends, uh, if you know that, um, if you know the heroes, all the heroes in the League, I had a very high amount of games played as Thresh, but I was like 40% win rate with Thresh. I had some games where I was just incredible, but <laughs> they were few and far between, honestly. Let's say, don't need, don't need, don't need. AD3, oh, with the wind up. See, 434, movement, and some resistances. Oh wait, we can use this now. I think we gotta upgrade our boots. Just put those in the stash in case I die. Oh wait. Ah, oh, so many boot upgrades, what do I use? Boost to all damage. Ah, uh, probably this one. All right, we'll we'll throw the both of those into the um, stash. Let's see, bonus all pets. Blueprint Savage. That's right. I already have that one. It's a shame I can't make it though, because I don't. I can't make the sub components. Let's say, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, lightning and electrocute, big boost, and a lot of resistances. That's pretty good. I think that's better than my right hand ring. Pants. Uh, physique. I don't know. Very big armor, but I lose a crap. Wait, how's my poison answers are so high? All right, fine. I guess I can use it. Dreadguard, Lichguard. That goes in the stash. Okay, everything is sorted. <laughs> I almost left without turning in the class. I the quest that I came here to turn in. Uh, all right, where's this relic? The Eye of Korvac. Uh, within the Astrakhan Mountain north of Dark... Oh, that's right. Okay, I know where that is. Let me throw this stuff into the uh, the stash in case I die. We need a future Mukluk to take it. Hey, do I have the right... Okay. I felt like I was using the wrong weapon there, like I had accidentally equipped something and sold the wrong thing, but I guess that's the right one, it just looked weird. Also in stays in lead. <laughs> I mean, is this just a rose-colored glasses thing, Reset, or is there something particular that you miss? Sell this and 
put out in there. It's safe with me. It's safe with I'll me. Alright, so now we're going to go to the Astrakhan Mountains. The Astrakhan Mountains. And go to that dungeon up there. Crazy? I swear. Wait, no, that's it right there. What's the what's that waypoint? Astrakarn Valley and then east? I just partial risk guys, so there was a tipping point when I was like right balance for S and New Heroes 2. That is I yeah. It does seem like every new hero is crazy OP, and it's like that for a couple of weeks, and then it gets nerfed. And it's even weirder to watch, like, the LCS when, like, they play on a build where the new hero's not out yet, then they have to relearn the game with the new hero, then they have to relearn the game while the new hero is nerfed. Or there will be, like, a week of the LCS where that hero is banned in every single game because no one wants to deal with it. Yasuo was ridiculous. Velkaz was... He, he was a he, he wasn't crazy OP to me. Yasuo's kit I think is ridiculous and the fact that like he doesn't even have a mana bar but like there's so many melee champs that don't have mana bars and so many of them that do it's weird. Like oh Zinzal's out of mana, he can't stab you with his spear. But Katarina doesn't use mana, so she's gonna keep stabbing you. I don't seal a binding. Double seal? Obviously the place to farm seals. Oof. This place still scales higher than me. That, uh, Harbinger is level 54. Dude, I'm starting to hate this Monster Hunter game, and it's not because of anything the game did. It's just because, like, it's bugged on Steam, and, like, every two minutes, I get a Steam notification that such and such friend is playing Monster Hunter for every one of my friends that has Monster Hunter. I'm just like, shut up! Metal Strongbox, what do you got? Polish Emerald. Oh, are you in the same boat? Yeah, most of my coworkers are playing Monster Hunter right now, and they're trying to get me into it, and they showed me some videos and stuff. And it looks cool. I don't know if I like the look of it more than what I'm already playing. I don't know if I want to slash it a monster for 25 minutes. They were telling me about it, like, dude, that's like five monsters for one stream. <laughs> kind of interested in Monster Hunter at the same time. It's kind of eh. Like, I can get behind a grindy game. I played EverQuest for like 10 years. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I'm interested in that at this point. I'm waiting a second for all those pools to fade. These pools actually stack. I know from experience. Uh, you kill like six of those guys in one spot and then walk through it, you will take the damage six times and almost get deleted. for this room. Soul Flare. Hmm. 
we're at like the last room. Well, wait, hold on. There's a secret wall here. No, that's not it. Where's this guy's eye? I'm so confused. I have to find a, an item in here called the Eye of Korvac. That's the whole point of coming here. But, uh, haven't yet found it. Is there a secret passage? Yeah, it definitely looks like there might be a secret passage. Ha ha! Ha! We're going off the map, boys. We're off the grid. Oh, don't tell me that's it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Path girdle. Yeah, tomorrow I think I'm going to see if I can get back into one of the uh, groups or get some people from those groups that were really good from all my mini pugs last week and try to just blast through as many mythics as I can. Get her done. I don't know if I've ever been back here. In this super secret area. Ancient sarcophagus. Oh! Sharanatu, Harbinger of the Void. Spooky, scary skeletons. I have Korvac. Oh, ow, 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 ow! What the? Leap is that? It's getting wrecked after the fight was over. Sore loser. <laughs> All right. That happened. Corpse dust. Mutagenic ecker. Oh, it didn't open his spoils. Um nom 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 nom. All right. That is a big eyeball. How big was Korvac? It was a big fella. Sorrow's Bastion. Let's turn this bad boy in. Okay. Alright, Father Kaiman, here's the eyeball. Crafting mess. Uh, he says, go look in my study. where we get to the whole what a twist Kaiman's journal one and two and a red flame the messenger is harsh to deal with with each exchange I feel drained as though my life were being drawn into a deep well everything appears darker and farther away as it as if seen through a long tunnel a lesser man without the years of inquisitor mental training would be consumed. Even as I write this, I can sense its energy rippling through the room. I can feel it like worms twitching below my skin. It burrows and pulls, urging me to get closer. I dread to think of what would become of any of my chosen should they get too close to this entity. What would remain, I cannot say, but I suspect the messenger would sh shuck the mind and claim the body for its own. I fear there are none who would understand or survive this secret. I alone must shoulder this burden, and so I will steel myself and endure. I have taken on a great task, but the fate of the world hinges on the success of the Chosen and the pact that I have made. What? Is this an ethereal? 
There are questions that have been scratching at the back of my mind. I have tried to push them aside, but with each conversation I have with the messenger, they become harder to ignore. I must ask, when the last demon is driven from this world, what will become of us then? In my heart, I fear I already know the answer, but I dare not speak it out loud. I have no doubt that I have made the right choice. The power I have rev revived will be humanity's salvation from the blood fiends of the Chthonic Void. However, there must always be evil, and when there is no evil left to conquer, who, or more frighteningly, what will fill that emptiness? Will we become as reviled as those who we oppose? The primordial powers, with no care or sympathy for humanity, without shackles, this power I have borrowed, could be just as disastrous as, or perhaps even worse than Cathon. I now wish I had not burned the town where I awoke this ancient being. If it ever needs to be stopped, I may have destroyed the last remaining knowledge to unmake it. Father Kaiman. You are not kind and puny thing. Why has he brought you before me? Has he lost his senses? Has he fallen ill? No, he is a fool. Fools are punished. You're not the Lightbringer. Empyrean is gone. Gone. There is only Korvac. Kneel before his messenger. What's your deal with Kaiman? Kaiman found Korvac's tome. He called through the veil and a god answered. Kaiman begged for a way to save his people. Korvac merely asked for a soul. Now Kaiman has the power he needs and Korvac gets his worshippers. Worshippers, why? The dead god grows in strength. It strengthens the power of Korvac, and Korvac must become the greater. What is Korvac? Korvac who was when the world was not. Korvac is eternal, infinite, primordial. Uh... The Chosen must be warned. Foolish thing, the Chosen serve their god, and in turn are rewarded for their worship. You would be labeled a heretic, an ally of Cathon, you who would deny their sacred faith. What does Korvac need worshippers for? The dead guy grows in strength. Okay, we, we looped. You're a messenger to a false god. Oh, that just closes it. Uh, I will stop. Okay, so there's no way to call that thing out on its BS at all. Okay, I guess it's on to the expansion stuff, because uh, these people have nothing for me. Think we're off to Malmouth, boys. Portal. Take me to Warden uh, Slammer, Shrines of Warden Cellar. Burwich Village. That is where I need to be. North. Need to go north. And to Malmouth, home of ethereals and mean salads. Ooh, crack lodestone. Barrier, put in the quest item, destroys the barrier. Dralgar, the keeper of Burwich. Ow, whoa, whoa, whoa. His after death damage was popping me. Killed Kyle, too. Blah, 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 blah. I can no way down to Ether Crystal.
Wow, a lot of healing potions in those little uh, the pile of barrels. Two named people. One down, two down. Scavenge plate. First of the bully salads. How I did not miss you. Bully salads. Alright, well, here's where uh, our poison and acid resist is gonna come in handy big time. Ours is nearly maxed. Oh, I know the briar thorn is immune to it. Oh, the pets might be dying a lot. <laughs> 8,173. I think that might be a new high as far as a single hit from Source of Me. Whoa! Turtle Shell. We almost ate it there. I was, uh,. Letting myself face tank a little too much. <sighs> Spike shell. See, what day hold on what day is the 31st that's a week from friday that's when the dos2 definitive edition was supposed to come out so as long as that release is on time i think i'll be playing the dos2 definitive a uh, week from friday probably do a tactician playthrough before I try the new story on Hardcore right away. Learn where all the crap is that could kill me in one second before I walk into it on Hardcore. I'm trying to zigzag around and be slightly thorough so we find that girl's father. Level 51. So sad. After 50 is when you only get two points per level instead of three. Oh, did you guys hear that? That lady attacked me. She was yelling, meat for the stew. See what's going on in this dude's cellar. He's got a rat problem. <laughs> a lot of badness going on in this guy's cellar. Wendigo altar. Apparently it is like an ultimate treasure chest. That was amazing. Stop. 
I remember this floor plan. I feel like there's a boss down here somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm right. Yeah, I swear there was a boss, like, right here. It was, like, a lady with, uh... She had the shotgun magic, so, like, it would hit you, like, ten times if you got too close to her. Unless they use this exact same floor plan in another cave. I know there are some games that use the same floor plan for like every single cave. WoW was known for it for years and they changed it. Now there's like three floor plans that they rotate between. But uh, this game doesn't do that too much. Meets with a stew. some other area of the map now. Scavenge plating. Polished emeralds. Oh my gosh, I've got like three bosses here. Marvel Spirit is on cooldown. Wow. Turtle Shell just procced from the dot after they were dead. Oh, it was nuts. I really needed a Primal Spirit from the beginning of that fight, but he was uh, cooling down still. Wraith Knight's Pauldrons. No. And no. Neither of those do have anything with pet or electric or defense. Obviously the pauldrons have a little bit of armor, but nothing really uh, incredible. there. Prime he killed it so fast I almost didn't notice. Yeah, so come here. Obliterous the Wraith. Is the dead wraith. Blood soaked scribblings. Polish emerald? Oh, we finally gotten back to the Ogden bosses. Ogden bosses. Oh, 
primal spirit. Dude, I want to do Bog Golem for a pet. How do I plant me one of those? Oh, Desecrated Shrine. Yeah, sign me up. Thanatos, the Defender. Wow, only one wave? Guess they thought it would be tough enough with uh, <laughs> the big golems. They were wrong. Alright, so... Devotion? Second of three points in eel. Stop. Mark of the Traveler. In the, oh, rude. In the near future, I'll have to see if I have uh, the crafting stuff to make anything good at the blacksmith again. I'm trying to, since we're in hardcore now, I'm trying to check him more often than I used to. Dude, we totally, totally saw this guy. Three cannibals with their hands on him getting pulled into the swamp into the, in the cinematic. So this guy with a broken leg somehow off three cannibals or got away from him. Shove him into a rift gate. I don't have time for this. Alright, ancient armor plate, high counselor coat. Is that any good? Wait, what are these? Hulking leg. Oh, same thing I've got. Uh, where's the coat? Oh, there's the coat. Frost burn damage. Not what I am doing. I think frost burn is just what they call the cold dot. Like, lightning is the impact, electrocute is the dot. I think frost burn is just the cold damage dot. Hey, Chef Smitty, how's it going? Don't know if you were here when it happened. We had a uh, Captain Ahab follow yesterday, and I made mention of uh, we have a pirate theme going. Detonation site. Destroy the barrier. Gloomwald stash. Another Lich Guard shield. Wait, is this a path? I thought that was a path. Okay. I had a poopy day at work. Literally, like you had the runs? Or just a bad day? Because it's pretty rare that I have good days at work anymore. So I can understand that if, the, if you meant the latter. If you meant the other runs, I have experienced that at work, but it's been a while. Pirate means he was on the poop deck all day. <laughs> but dum bum. Yo ho, fiddle dee dee. Da 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 da. Pirate slide for me. The name, Smitty. Hey, everyone thinks that I'm budget Tom Cruise. 
You're allowed to have a, a persona. Whoa, boss coming out of the ground. What? What? We lost Kyle. We summoned Kyle. Now I... Oh yeah, and, and you always say ahoy. That's also part of it. This is... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting so distracted by pirates here. We almost just lost everything. <laughs> what? She just deleted my crab. Primal spirit! Go get her! Okay, she died from dots. Wow, she killed a second round of my pets and Primal Spirit, which is my super strong pet that only has like a short duration. She actually killed it before its duration ran out. She had some uh, some of that shotgun magic where if they were too close, they got hit by all the bolts. You still my beating hardcore heart. to go alter <laughs> it totally just did she just offed it unless you're being metaphorical it was sent back to its plane of existence Lodestone. Silence! Oh my god, I got the silence! Ornate strongbox. Ooh, ancient armor plate. They don't make them like they used to. Yo, <laughs> it's not usually quiet for this long. Expecting a big ambush. All right, here's some stuff. There we go. Does this game have full multiplayer support? Yes, it does. Simtex. Um, the currently the the multiplayer servers in this game are a little old schoolish in the way they work. Uh, like, you don't just hit join a random multiplayer game, you actually see, like, a list of games and you click one to join, but yes, it works in multiplayer just fine. <laughs> I'm honored, Chef, thank you. Now, I will say this game was originally designed as just, like, a single-player ARPG. So, multiplayer might be a bit too easy, but yes, it works with multiplayer, I think, up to four people, perfectly fine. That's probably why. Peer to peer. Yeah, I think that would help the, uh popularity of this game if they if they did that but it's doing quite well for itself especially with the new x pack on the way if you count crucible it's their third expansion and thank you for providing more details sarok i had looked in the multiplayer stuff i i've done a total of like one hour of multiplayer of this game out of like 400 hours of this game You think you don't think that that would increase their player base enough to make up for it? Huh. 
Yo, that guy hurt. Do we just get recipe venom fang oil? Groovy. What's this path down here? Oh, I just realized Kyle's dead again. <laughs> hey, cute Kyle! Zero mugs given. <laughs> Welcome back, Emmer. Always glad to see your home safe. Oh, Simtex, thank you for the follow, my friend. Oh, oh, hold on. I can do it with a gift today. <laughs> uh, for my birthday the other day, someone sent me the shirt that's in that gift, but in red. So now I can sport it. I have double the uh, video game streamer shirts in my wardrobe now. I'm sure wants to go downstairs and log in and go lay down and watch on iPad. Oh, we got another salad fight. Dim nature mortars. Virulent growth. Oh, that was a main one. It's like a champion salad. Kyle dead again. Did Kyle, the, the crab spirit that I call Kyle, he dies all the time, but he just constantly does this spam like frost nova thing that just freezes everything solid and lets you get tons of free damage in so i love him and he's he's totally worth it to me to keep resummoning him that that was it and it's elemental damage so i'm buffing him with my lower their resistances move uh what do you think of Diablo 3? I like Diablo 3. It's, it's got a special place in my heart for, for games. However, I don't know if I'm going to go back and play it again. Like, I ha I've made a new character and played the same content over and over, like, five or six seasons in a row. Like, I've, I've played it out. I, I think I'm done with it. Um... I, I love the game, I, you know, I, I could critique it, but, you know, everybody's played it. Uh, for games of that genre, currently, I would say, to me, to Muckluck, it's like D3, Path of Exile, way, way higher, and Grim Dawn is there with Path of Exile. But right now, the small community I've gathered on Twitch likes Grim Dawn more than Path, so I play, pa uh, so I play Grim Dawn more than Path. A little late on Legendary Drama, so as you just watch the commission work. <laughs> Dude, Kevin, it's no problem. Like I told you, I, I would have zero rights to complain about anything with that. But I do appreciate the update, so I'm not just sitting here like, should I ask him? But hell, if you even just completely changed your mind, you know what, Muck? Muck you. <laughs> I would have no right to complain at all. I'd be like, okay. Yes, my lord. What do you think about the Oath Keeper? I think it looks pretty cool. I've actually got the page up on my other monitor. We were talking about it earlier. So with the formula this class uses, this game uses with the whole pick two classes to make a character, every time they add a class, it's going to add more characters to the game than the last class they added. So the Oath Keeper adding to the game makes eight new combinations. The next class would be nine and so on and so on. Oathkeeper will be able to become Archon, Dervish, Oppressor, Paladin, Sentinel, Shieldbreaker, Templar, and Warlord. And it reminds me, all the clips I saw reminded me of a tanking Paladin from World of Warcraft mixed with, like, a warrior. So it looks pretty sweet, considering it's, like, everything they showed was shield-based. I'm thinking that a... Oath Keeper with a warrior spec for shields is just going to be ridiculously tanky. Uh. Ah, uh, shoot. I need to get the heart. 
up here there's a boss I need to kill or the witches won't talk to me. I need to go get the heart. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, my favorite thing in Grim Dawn and similar games has always been summoning. Uh, you can see I've got some pets following me right now. So I'll probably try it. Um, but then I, I think even more than the Oath Keeper, I'm going to be psyched for the new content. Just new lands to roam around in. Excuse me. Oppressor sounds like an ass kicker. I'm wondering if that's Oath Keeper with Demolitionist. Because it sounds like a bully. <laughs> the Demolitionist is definitely a bully. I'm guessing the Paladin is either Oath Keeper with either Inquisitor or uh, Soldier. Three greens. Is there? Oh, there's the door right here. Scavenge plate. Doombog color. Kick the door open. Don't even check if the doorknob is unlocked. Don't care. Where is Caraxus? I know there's a cave around here somewhere that has Caraxus Fowl in it. That's who we're looking for. Whoa! I'm pretty sure that tre that chest tricks me every single bleeping time. Run for it, and like three Ugden bosses come up. God, so many golems. It's like the big golem dies, turns into a small golem dies, the small golem dies, turns into a pod, the pod dies, turns into the vine plant thing. So it's it like many, many waves of killing through that same stuff. Ah, cave. Den of Caraxes. I think we found the right cave. <laughs> oh right. And I can melt these golems if all of my damage is targeted on the one source. Is that him? That's him. Star guy's going to lay down and get some sleep. Stay there to see my friends. <laughs> no problem, Chef. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope to see you again soon. Man, this guy is so much health with five levels higher than me. Even with Primal out, my full damage to bear on him took a while. Your guesses are Archon is Arcanist. I said that too. Dervish is Shaman. I actually thought the Dervish was the Nightblade. Oppressor Demo. I agree. Paladin Soldier. I agree. Sentinel Occultist. I don't know. Shieldbreaker Nightblade. That might be a better guess than what I said. Templar. Inquisitor. That makes sense. Warlord Necro. That seems just... I, I don't know. I don't really know that any of them sound like... But, I mean, combining a Necro with what seems like a Paladin seems kind of eh in the first place, so I don't really have any idea of what it's going to be. Alright. We got the Heart of Caraxus. Let's go back to the portal that we already got in Coven's Refuge. Uh, oh, and I need to talk to the person in Devil's Crossing. I finished a quest there. Okay. 
anything you like. All right. Let's toss some rubbish here. Devouring swarm. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Word of pain. I've already checked those two out. I don't need them. I already checked that. I don't need it. I don't have cunning for guns, so I'm not even going to read them. Stormbox, fireball, no. No, no, we're going to throw that in the stash in case a future hardcore character needs it. Um, no, no. no. Well, hold on. Let me check those boots again. What were those? 29% to all elemental resist is good. 8% movement is good. The lightning is good. I lose the pet bonuses I have now. But these have a lot more armor. Oh, shoot. Those might be worth it. I'll be better buy those back. Is it easy to find people to play with in multiplayer? I believe so. Granted, I told you I've played multiplayer with this. Like, one time, I, I like just playing while chatting with people going at my own pace and not feeling rushed or anything like that. But at any time I've gone to the multiplayer menus, there was a whole slew of games there to choose from. So I don't think it's too hard. Fire and lightning damage. Percent health, there's elemental resistance. No, we're going to keep our, our helmet right now. I, I uh, take it by your questions that you're very interested in this game for multiplayer reasons. Uh, plus two to conjure Primal Spirit. Plus five seconds to the duration of Primal Spirit. That would make it 25 second duration with 31 second cooldown. But I would lose the ability to pump um, Wind Devils. Into the attack speed of summon Briarthorn. Plus three to emboldening presence. That's huge. The emboldening presence skill is the one that increases all forms of damage, all offense ability, physical resistance, bleeding resist, and retaliation to everyone in the area. That is a uh, possibly a big deal. I lose some acid and poison resistance. That's really it. And defense. If I can suffer through losing that resistance, that is huge. Uh, let's see. I'm seriously considering you can also have a fair number of people to play with on the forums and Twitch streams, but it won't be like PLE or D3 because GT is a more self-focused game. That, yeah, that that is all accurate, yes. I agree with those statements. Save those boots for later. Throw all these crafting. Oh, it's a small thing. Another thing uh, I like on Grim Dawn above D3 and PoE is the crafting. It has a very robust crafting system. That's what all these mats are right here. These are crafting materials. All right. Let me turn. Let me sell this. I'm going to check the rest of the camp for quests, and then I'm going to go turn in this quest in Devil's Crossing. Here's one. Rala. We meet again. Oh, that's right. I saved your life a while back. You get a second quest reward if you save her life, and uh, she ends up making it here. Okay. All right. Let's go back to Devil's Crossing and get that other... Whoops. Whoops. And get that other uh, quest turn in. I will say, um, Grim Dawn, like Path of Exile D3, both have the ability to get up to a point where you're moving so incredibly, like, almost overwhelmingly fast through the game. You know, you're just like. Boom, clear the screen, teleport. Boom, clear the screen, teleport. You know, just blip, 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 blip. I remember seeing a gif of a guy that beat a map on a uh, path, like cleared the map. Didn't pick anything up, but he cleared the map in like 10 seconds with a, with an endgame build. And it was ridiculous. 
I really like the pace of Grim Dawn. Like, I, I can be him mowing through guys with the summoning build and not feel like I'm going insanely slow compared to other people. Like, I'm going at a decent pace, but I'm playing the game style I like. But the play style I like to play in Path, no one likes watching that on Twitch because it's the slow summoning build, as opposed to the lightning fast arc totem or whatever the current thing is build. Uh... Rescue the traveling. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're done with this. Go back up here. All right. <laughs> illusionist. I haven't even looked at the Illusionist. This is like the transmog for this game. Maybe we can make our shoulders a little less pointy. That kind of matches everything else. Looking good. Honestly, I can't spend too much money on Crazy Illusions and stuff, because I have very little uh, money in this playthrough. I got convinced recently to try Hardcore Sarok, and uh, this is my first... Even though I've got like five... No, sorry, like 400 hours synced into this game. It's my first time trying Hardcore. So even in, like, the shared bank stash and stuff like that, I have no recipes, no money, just only what this character has found. It was an entirely clean slate. Which was kind of refreshing, you know? Kind of like a new season type thing, but it's Hardcore, so my heart rate is up a little bit. <laughs> Four giant golems. Whoa, my gosh. Tidal wave of vines. Yes, level 52. Oh, my God. Yo, okay, where is the plant more? There's, okay, there's a bunch of them. These plants have, like, a poison mortar in it. That's what kept poking me when I was trying to mess with my new level up. Stop poking me! Okay, we just hit next level. Put them both right there. Personally, I hate hardcore mode game. Hardcore modes and games save New Vegas. Hurts me so I could die to save her. Uh, I mean, it, it's different strokes for different folks. I hate sports games. I, 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 at a, like, if I'm at somebody's house and it's like, play a sports video game or just surf television, I'll surf television. I, it, in my mind, people that like or hate hardcore, it's just people that like a different style of game. And that's fine. That's completely fine. I like it sometimes. Right now, it's it's kind of cool. I feel like I kind of got bullied into doing it, but it's kind of fun. Now, when I get a new game, I often will, like, if I want to play hardcore for some insane reason, I'll usually beat the game once on maybe a hard difficulty just short of hardcore, learn the story, and then start over and do it on Hardcore after that. Because, you know, you don't want to get 90% of the way through the game, die, the save file gets deleted, and you don't get to see how the game ends. That would be infuriating. The blow is definitely lessened if you uh, got to see the ending. <laughs> like, if I was that close to the end of the game and I died and lost the save file and I hadn't seen the end of the game yet, I would probably pull up YouTube videos of the ending and just watching it angry. Bogdanbog turned. 
these are like things that go bump in the night or something. Oh man, that I, that those red puddles do a ton of damage. I don't even know what type of damage. It might be bleeding. this cave? I think there's a witch in here or something? Oh god. I clicked the door on accident. Once more into the breach. Ah, uh, good freeze, Kyle. Good freeze. Solvar the Endless Hungerer the Vampire. Ow. Why do I like four dots? Uh, I did very hard on New Vegas just to get a feel and then did hardcore mode. New Vegas, New Vegas is one of the older Fallout games, I think, right? I I was never exposed to the Fallout series until uh, Fallout 4, the most recent one. And even then, I originally only got it because people were like, yeah, it's it's a lot like playing Skyrim. You'd probably enjoy it. And I was like, okay. Yo, that lady was scary. She killed the Briar Thorn, who's my m highest hit point pet, and Kyle. I was using I was using the pets to body block her spells because she was firing bolts. That lady was rough. She dropped a tiny lightsaber. It shoots chain lightnings. Oh wow, is this an upgrade? A hundred and plus one hundred and thirty-two percent to your electrocute damage. Plus four percent to cooldown reduction. Plus two to wind devil. Two to maelstrom. My main the, the lightning bolt from the sky skill is maelstrom. So getting plus two to that will allow it to go higher than its old max level. That is hot. Oh geez. Uh, something can the iron change as well. You see snow gear. Just that's as I die. I have to leave the character hell now. Oh yeah, those are for like the really hardcore people. I mean, don't me when I'm not watching any two point laugh when it goes down. You bully. New boat, they get started to fall at three. Gotcha. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it, you know, through memes and people with loud opinions. Uh, but I never played it during its time. Oh, this is awesome. Cars level 58 though. Six more levels where I can use the electric lightsaber Venom Gaze Bile is a quest item for later. Or my guy just likes picking up bile for some reason. Uh, what else? Actual Fallout RPG on Call of Duty Wasteland Edition Fallout 4. What? The Quite the description. Ooh, skeleton key dungeon. How's my fire resist? 80, it's max, okay. This might be a good time to do this. Whoa, 
potion. Oh my god. <laughs> Force dialogue is horrid. Most of the old RPG mechanics got dumbed down so you can get more caps. You guys are so much less to read. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll, uh, I mean that's just Bethesda. Like, I I played the first Elder Scrolls game I played was Morrowind, and after that Oblivion, after that Skyrim, and Morrowind, because of more inventory slots and uh, more options and stuff like i remember someone somewhere said that there was like 1400 different armor combinations of morrowind skyrim had like 53 53 or something akin to that compared to over 1400 like that's crazy like as someone who likes selection that's wild and oblivion was in the middle like, Morrowind, you could make your own spells from level 1. Oblivion, you could do it after you became, like, the Archmage, which was, like, 50 hours into the game. And then Skyrim, you could not make your own spells. But everybody loves Skyrim so much, they bought it, like, 14 times, so I guess they were doing it right. I don't know. But... And I played the hell out of Skyrim. I'm not gonna be like, meh, I turned up my nose. I played the hell out of it. I enjoyed it. But I wish they had kept those older mechanics. And a lot of it was just like, you know, Skyrim didn't have a shoulder slot. Uh, Morrowind had left shoulder and right shoulder. It had left uh, glove. You could have wear gloves that didn't match. How many games these days can you play where your gloves don't match? Yeah, yeah, you're right. But uh, you know, with Skyrim, there was like five inventory slots or something silly. Morrowind had like boots, pants, shirt, belt, uh, uh, left shoulder, right shoulder, left wrist, right wrist, left glove, right glove, helmet face was separate from helmets. You could have like a veil or a, an iron mask or something like that. Um, you could have a you could have armor and you can put on a robe over the armor to fool people into thinking you were wearing cloth and then surprise them by in fact wearing plate underneath. You just looked like a bulky guy and it was wild. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Vangels. You're absolutely right. I think they were trying to cater to a larger audience and they were entirely successful. I'm simply sharing Muckluck's opinions right now in response to what he brought up. But yeah, you're 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 right. I'm sure they did it as a business standpoint. Oh, one thing that was funny was a uh, jump was a stat. And it's so, like the higher the stat was, the higher you could leap. And there was like a spell you could make that was like Increase jump by 1,000 for one second. So you cast a spell in leap, and you could like go over a mountain range. And if you didn't have like a safe fall or something to land, you would just splatter all over the ground. <laughs> but I would use that just to get around. Just massive, massive points in the or massive, massive spell of like one second jump up. Yeah, the legend, the first, like, you know, finish the main quest line legendary in Morrowind was like a, a gaunt, it was like this golden god's gauntlet. So once you got that, your stuff didn't match from that point forward because you had the god's gauntlet on one hand. Scroll of Lucian Flight drops off a random guy near Satanine. I'm not even sure about that. After playing Morrowind for a long time, I 
like after I stopped playing, I went and I looked at like a list of all the like legendary items in the game. Dude, I had found like two or three out of 20 or 30 in my whole time beating that game. I was blown away by how much I missed. You know, one thing that really impressed me, um, I have a map of Morrowind on the wall right here that came with the game. Every... The detail of accuracy of the map that came with the game. Like, you know how, like, when, when someone takes, like, a, a map and they're drawing, like, a forest on a map, they'll, they'll like, copy-paste a tree symbol over and over and over, okay? Like... Every little rock and tree on that map is actually in game where it's at. When I realized that, uh, that blew me away because I, I, you could use that to find some really, really pinpoint accurate locations, and I was shocked by the level of detail that the artist put into that. Random thought. Ooh, burning balloon. A self-cooking salad. A tuned lodestone. Oh, 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 there's a treasure chest back here in this tree. Nice. But as, uh, as Banjo said, you know, they had a much smaller audience back then, so it is what it is. Hell, I've I've got grown a taste for certain um, mobile games, just simple games to do, like in between stuff, or like I can do them on, on an iPad in the living room while hanging out with the family, <laughs> and still not be losing brownie points for being secluded in in the cave, you know. Uh, and I'm sure I'll play the that new I forget what it's called the the Skyrim mobile game, Elder Scrolls Gauntlet or something like that. The new Bethesda game for mobile. I'm sure I'll be messing with that. Dude, the um, the scroll the the scroll of quest thing further down on my page that I've been pitching for like earning free subscriptions and stuff. Like there was actually some really mobile games on that list. I'm already playing, and I'm like, oh man, I wish I could retroactively get credit for this. It would make like eight subscriptions for the channel if I could just add my account and retroactively do all these quests. There's some, there were some good ones in there. And if you guys haven't heard, because I, I said it once like an hour and a half ago, and I'll say it again. There's a new thing for our channel. Um, and it, there's a scroll further down on the page that says quests for free subs or something like that. And, uh, it's it's exactly what it is. It's basically free games that you can download, and if you spend any time on them, it actually earns you free Twitch subscriptions and earns the channel you downloaded from me. Uh, it earns uh, tips for the channel to just help support it. It's a really cool system, and I'm actually doing it myself as well. I don't know if this has been available. Yeah, lately, Creation Club, Battle Net, this and that launcher trying to monetize the money community. Uh, I freely admit I haven't been following those pieces of news, so I can't speak much on that. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold that thought. I mean, how do you... How would one monetize a modding community? Like, charge them for the tools or something? Eastern Leg Guards. 20% to elemental resistances. 58% to lightning damage. Whoo! Those are good! What is this? Powered inscribed bracers. 45% to elemental damage. 17% to cast speed. And those are good. Okay. I've got like three blue items to use when I hit 58 if I don't eat it first.
All right, and you know what? Let's throw these in the stash before we potentially get deleted. Whee! Uh, it's not as perverse as EA down slowly getting there. No, they give incentive monitors to post solely on the creation club, so it makes an LL suffer from backlash. Oh. I've never been, and this is, again, this is just me, I've never been big on mods in games, with rare exception. So that's not a topic I am very informed about. Like, I remember I'm modding the hell out of Torchlight, and, like, <laughs> I, I made the, the, the character I had was so stupidly overpowered. And I beat it, and it was, like, effortless. And I was like, eh, that was kind of fun for a minute, but I'm never going to do that again. It felt like I turned on God Mode in Doom. It's fun for a few minutes, and it's just like... There's no way to lose, so... What's the point? Uh, da -da -da. Either resist. Don't need that. Don't need that. Is this thing? No. No. Hmm. Three to emboldening presence. This shares some of the good features of my current thing. Plus 10% of the attacks we get Bright Thorn. That's 58% lightning resist. My lightning resist is already capped. That's only 1% over capped. Um. But I lose 23 to defense. Oh, but I gained 27 spirit with this one. Ah! Okay, I'll, I'll use this one. You twisted my arm, I'll do it. So let's fall out for almost unnecessary uh, evil, like MC on the overhaul dialogue interface. I didn't play Fallout 4 with mods, so I'm not sure what those do. The only thing I found, and there was a, a console command, and it was... What was it? It was something with Curie. The, the, the companion Curie, she had some really terrible bug or something, like she wouldn't use weapons you gave her or something, unless you typed in a console code each time she leveled up. And I, that was like the biggest thing I did other than play the game vanilla. Was I, I misclicked, was I used that code a lot. All right, we are in a area where I cannot teleport out and I cannot leave without quitting the game. So it is a do or die in here. Three crafting mats on that dead guy. Must have been a traveling merchant. I had to take a fix from Nexus Fix Series Well, it was officially patched up in two years after all that foreign life. And I think at that point I was done with it. console command I had to use in Skyrim a lot, there was, um, oh Jesus, <laughs> there, there was a thing where it's like, when you got a follower, their stats would, like, snapshot at that time, when you first met them, and they would never level up. So to have the best follower, you would either not you'd purposely avoid where that follower was until you were max level and then go get them or every time you leveled you had to type in a console command to reset that follower and then they would go to your level 
And I remember my favorite follower in Skyrim was, I think his name was like Mercurio or something. He was a wizard and he fired like dual wield lightning bolts and he never missed because the lightning was no travel time between it and the target. Like he was great versus dragons because he would just constantly blast them out of the air. And I would always go straight to the town he was in and hire him right away in a new game. And so I had to find that console code and I, I used it every time I leveled up to reset him. Oh, jeez, what is this? Golgazor. Yeah, I remember um, the no-name followers that you could get for being the listener from the assassins were like the only ones that leveled up properly in vanilla. And being a pet user, I was very reliant on my followers, so I needed them to work. Oh my gosh. They push past the defenses. Get down! Hoogan box, spike shell. Two boss spiders down. What do we got? Oh, we lost Kyle at some point. Let's resummon him. Uh, I used to take Lydia for my arcane archers. That bug was annoying. Oh, yeah, because you, you would meet Lydia super early on, so she would be always low level with that bug in play. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> One of the funniest, like, really early Skyrim highlight videos on YouTube I saw was this, uh, this guy, I think it was Maximus Black, and he was playing Skyrim, and, like, Lydia was following him too close, and they were sneaking, and he turned around, and just, like, they're like, sneak, 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 and they turned around and went, touch it. And she went, huh? <laughs> like, backed away. And just the timing was perfect. And he ended up just, like, rolling on the floor. He was laughing so hard. Max Lovegrave said to Ebony Dragon played armor. She made a bad thing. You're talking about Fallout 4? I hated him as a character. But I loved him as a fighter, Paladin Dance. He had, what was it, a full set of power armor that never needed to be repaired, and he had the the laser rifle that never needed to be reloaded. You gave that stuff to anyone else, and you constantly had to maintain it. Until the, what was it, the Automaton expansion came out, and then I just made, like, a Curie that was a flying death robot <laughs> and she pretty much beat the game for me at that point oh no I want to live don't delete my clock this thing's had some hit points even old primey took a little while to kill him oh <gasps> no no. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a dead end. Why did my Briarthorn summon back there? You cheeky bugger. Oh my gosh. Yo, where? There he is. Freaking Briarthorn summoning behind like a mountain behind me? There's no time for that. 
That was probably the closest I got to death. Uh, my finger was on the escape key. I don't even know if this is the kind of game where you can avoid a death by quickly leaving the game, but I was about to try, God help me. <laughs> yeah, Sarok. <laughs> I honestly had my doubts of even trying this dungeon right now at my current level, but I was like, you know, I, I know the last guy here is fire, my fire resistance is maxed right now, it's really not going to be a better time. There's just so many mobs here with charge. Mobs with charge are like anti-muck. That's the anti-muck equation. Using wind to go to life steal through that guy's nasty, nasty aura. <sighs> two greens, two oranges, a blue. Void Forge Battle Play. That is like the third time we have found Void Forge Battle Play. This is risky as fuck, yes. Yes, thank you for recognizing. Cluster. Yeah, I've got some good tools for living right now. I've got the turtle thing, the turtle shell constellation, which procs and helps. I'm wearing this belt that when I get low, it automatically tries to heal me with a uh, 30 second recharge. But. <laughs> There's still some moments where I'm like, Nyeh. Oh my Jesus. Freaking Balrog ambush? What? And I said, oh lord, it's a fire. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. You name it! My manticore is stronger than your manticore. That wasn't a challenge, I'm sorry. Oh god. Potion. Oh, I like how it knocked two of them off the cliff. Those ragdoll physics. Uh, there's a good chance I either got fired or suspended from all sorts either way, free day off. <laughs> Oh, man. Dust off that resume, my friend. Gotta keep that money flowing. Oh, I know we're near the end of this. Level 50. Ow! Potion. Turtle shell. Jeez! Who, did, who just died? Primal Spirit died before it actually wore off. Jeez. How did they kill him so? That's like the second time Primes actually died before he just expired. I'm very surprised by that. Got places lined up? Well, that's good. It's good to not have to stress about that. So many people do, and it sucks. Potion, we got bleeds, we got poisons. You name it! <laughs> oh my god. Who died? Kyle died, or someone Kyle. Ah. Salads! If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Okay. Alright. Uh, we have two points unspent. Those are going here. Um, Zeke for more health. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're near the end of this. 
the only thing holding me back was I've heard to get two weeks notice only burning bridges in this case. Broken glass and nails, God. Oh my gosh. Fire resistance is max. Primal spirit is off cooldown. <sighs> One time I beat this guy and I instantly died because he summoned a volcano under my feet and the volcano does like 80 hits up in the air that come raining down and when they went up they went through me because I was standing on top of it. Phase two. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. Resummon Briarthorn. Alright, Primal just came off cooldown. There's the volcano. That summons right under you, every one of those projectiles hits you. Resummon Raven, resummon Kyle. Potion. Run! Oh my gosh. Uh, that was actually the first time I saw the belt proc. Oh, my tiny hardcore heart was all pitter patter. We got an achievement. Immortal Wild Tamer, Slay Gargable, Heart of the Wild in the Ancient Grove on Hardcore Mode. <laughs> God. I feel like I'm playing a horror game right now. Heart rate is too high for action RPG. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, when I saw the turtle shell come up, shatter, and then this belt proc, I was like, Oh my god! Clinch cheeks! Soul Weave Girdle. What is that? Vortex Stone. Epic Amulet. Mogdragon's Ruminations. That is another page. All the treasure. Oh, there was that's right, there was a devotion at like the beginning of this level. I shouldn't expect there to be one here at the end. Have you come? Okay. Jesus. Alright. Well, it is 12 on the dot. And we just finished that hell hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop back to Govin's Refuge. Uh, I'm gonna wrap things up there. Uh, to everyone here, as always, thank you for joining me. It has been a pleasure. If you guys aren't here, I'm just talking to myself in a room and being crazy, so I appreciate it. Uh, if anyone here is new, I stream every night from 9 p.m. to midnight, and it's always RPGs. Tomorrow's Tuesday, which is the Battle for Azeroth reset, so I will probably be tanking some Mythic Dungeons if you wish to get in on that. If you uh, want a notification when I go online, please hit that follow button. It will give you a ping and let you know when I'm online. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. Or if you wish to play some of the quest games by scrolling down a little bit on the page, you can subscribe for free and support the channel by playing some of those. Um, with that said, I'm going to raid somebody else. So if you're willing, stick around for like 30 seconds. We'll raid somebody else. Maybe make their night. Maybe you'll find another streamer you like. Maybe not. And uh, after that, I'm going to head out. So you guys have a good night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Peace.